people on this call for the very first time and I know some of these um, work we come here every week and we listen and we get informed or educated is there any way you can go back and just kind of give an intro to a couple things as to how you know I hear the term the body can heal itself and what the great black detox is all about and um, just kind of a little yeah so um... for the first time people on the line thank you yeah, yeah, and we're going to butcher this, but for the first time, people, you're in the right place, absolutely. And um, uh, unwittingly, um, Cheyenne just gave you the overview, and this really is about a paradigm, a lifestyle, a process um, of healing, of nutrient therapy that aids the body in healing itself. And what does that mean? You see, the body can heal itself from many things um, by itself naturally. What's happened though in the last, you know, 100 years, 60 years, um, especially, we have introduced or there have been introduced so many artificial things into the, um, the, the food table, pharmaceutical. Uh, pharmaceutical drugs, chemicals in the home. We are now um, uh, bombarded by unnatural substances in artificial our environment, flavors, artificial flavors, preservatives, and we ingest these and we imbibe these, not just through our food, but through our skin, through our eyes, through our ears, through our hair, through our, into our mind. It just, it's, it, we're just bombarded with this stuff, okay? So the body now is struggling to heal itself and we need to be aided in healing itself. Also, you have to remember as well as that, we used to be very proficient in finding the herbs and nutrients that would aid our bodies as well, right? So whether it was skin conditions or internal digestive conditions or even mental conditions, we knew the herbs and nutrients around our environment that would help us. Those things have been taken away from us and they've been synthesized. And they're now what we call pharmaceutical drugs, right? Um, some of them work really well. They're very obscure. And if needed at a certain time in life, you have to have that thing, then you know there's no other choice. But generally, that nutrient therapy has been taken out of our environment. What Dr. Amsu and there's others out there, we're not going to make out as though we're the only ones in the world that are doing this, have done, is taken those nutrients and develop um, nutrient therapies to give our bodies um, the supplements to help our bodies heal itself, right? So there's maintenance, so there's your everyday living and keeping your, um, your body being able to create and manage its vitamins, its hormones, um, and its general energy levels of the cells. Because remember guys, the only reason we eat food is to bring energy and nutrients to our cells. We don't eat to make our bellies fat. We don't necessarily eat to make our muscles big. We only eat to get energy and proper nutrients into our cells. Your body then uses those, that energy and those nutrients to do what it needs to do. Here's the problem. When you, when you throw in toxins, when you throw in uh, again, artificial colors, conditioners, um, 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 flavors, and um, things that aren't really food. We can talk about that as well. How much we get on the shelves that isn't actually food. It's chemicals that are put together to make things fluffy, make them hard, make them soft, and then they flavor it. And then we eat it and our body has to discard it, but it's not really food. Here's Maybe. the problem. Your body doesn't know how to digest it. Your body says, crap, what's this? Whatever's poison in it will poison your body. Whatever it isn't, your body will store in your white adipose tissue or your, your white fat, okay? And it stores it. Now, anytime you're, you're maybe fatigued, anytime you're without food, you're exercising, anytime your body doesn't have energy because the food you're eating is depleted of its energy, guess what it does? It goes to those fat stores. What's in those fat stores? The toxins. So now when you least expect it, your body is now craving for, for toxins and it's pulling toxins out of that fat, okay? What does this cause? This is the root, guys, of your fibros, of your endometriosis, of your PCOS, of your di diabetes, of your high blood pressure. It's toxins in the body. So the basic um, uh, reasoning or the basic paradigm behind our nutrient therapy is to give your body the nutrients your body needs to pull the vitamins from your food, okay? Pull the nutrients from your food. So your body has the tools. And what this does is helps with your hormonal balance. Now, why is hormonal balance important? The hormones of your body are kind of like, you know, the machine, the mechanism that helps to organize everything your body does. Everything that happens in your body, there's a hormone that's sending the trigger. When you, when you feel anxious, that's a hormone that got released. When you feel calm, that's a hormone that got released. When you're happy, 
that's a hormone that gets released. When it's time to digest food, guess what? Hormones are released to tell the body to release enzymes, to release acid, to create bile in your gallbladder. So when your hormones or there's no homeostasis, when your hormones are out of sync, your body is now firing at when it doesn't need to be. You're totally calm sitting on the bus and then you get anxious. Your body just triggered cortisol or whatever, or adrenaline in the, for no good reason, because your body, the toxins in your body telling your body, oh man, I, I, I need sugar, I need glycerin, I need glucose, whatever. Your body's out of whack. So the, de the detoxes and the nutrients, what they do is they first will say, listen, guys, let's turn off the engine. Let's switch off the engine, turn off the lights, turn off the AC. Let's get this car cooled down. Then we're going to go in and we're going to put everything where it needs to be. We're going to recalibrate this car. So this car, when we next start this car up, it's going to be purring like a cat. And that's what the detox does. OK, so with the nutrients and the detox and giving your body a rest, you now give your body a kickstart so that the food you do eat subsequently now starts to do the job it's supposed to do. Also, listen, I don't pick up anybody in my car. I don't give rides to anybody. You know, it has to be a very long road. I'm going to give you even a hitchhiker a ride. You can't let any food in your body. You can't put any crap into your body. You can't drink any drink, eat any food, gas station food, 65 ingredients in a, in a, in a donut. You can't be putting that stuff in your body. Okay. Cause when you put that stuff in the body, it sometimes doesn't even matter what nutrients you take. The first thing your body sees is that artificial sugar puts that into your cells. There's no room now for the good nutrients. Okay. So it's a holistic approach to ridding your body of toxins. And again, um, nu nutrient therapy. There was something and, else and, I was going to ask. Go ahead. Thing thing as well. Mm. You see, we were speaking earlier about when you're trying to get your iron, right? Um, there's a, there's a, it's like a competition going on. There's a struggle for absorption of nutrients. And there's certain nutrients that work together. Like when you're trying to get iron, there's um, vitamin C, there's copper that help with iron absorption, right? Now, when you have toxins in your body, they are fighting with your nutrients for absorption. So when you eat a donut or you eat, there might actually be something good in the donut. I don't know. Might be, you know, one of the hundreds and thousands. The one ingredient, yeah. Right, that you got on it, you know, one of the colors was okay. But all the toxins that's there, it's like saying, well, get in line. Get in line. Back of the line for you, mate. You see what I'm saying? So you, there's always a struggle for nutrients. So when we tell your body to rest, we're giving your digestive system a rest. You're not going to be absorbing any toxins. So all you're doing is you're, you're taking these supplements straight into your bloodstream. So they don't even have to go through the digestive system where they can be interfered with by enzymes and, and acids that your, that your digestive system produces to help with digestion, right? So you're getting pure nutrients and they can go straight to where they're needed, right? So all these toxins that you do eat, they're fighting for position. And when they do get through, your body doesn't know what to do with it. It's gonna store it as fat. And then here's the thing about fat. When your fat is functional, when your fat is a certain size, each we have fat cells, right? When we're adults, we have the same amount of fat cells for the rest of our lives. There's no change. You have a finite number. What those fat cells do is they expand with more material, right? More lipids and whatnot. They expand. And when we, when we go over it and we get out of shape, it's because our adipocytes, which are, are the fat cells, they swell. When they're normal sized, they are very functional. They help with metabolism. They release AMPK. They help with muscle tone, all of that good stuff right? They inhibit inflammatory cells. But the moment they get past a certain threshold, it starts to dysfunction and they start to produce inflammatory white blood cells. This is what causes inflammation. This is why everybody, anybody who's overweight or obese, your fat cells are producing inflammatory cells and it's actually inhibiting AMPK stuff that helps you to break down fat and to metabolize correctly so your body gets energy, right? All these things are inhibited while inflammatory cells become more prevalent. And that's why people who are obese, they, they suffer with so many different inflammatory conditions. So this whole 14 day 
challenge this GBD-14, it's an anti-inflammatory detox, which involves a 14-day liquid fast while you're taking supplements. I know supplements. you didn't, I know you didn't, I know you 